Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, we're here. The Zer PSA is back. Let's go, boys. So this is the last Zer PSA we'll be doing for season, what is this, 18? I don't even know anymore. Uh, season of Plunder. And hopefully it's good, because if it's not, I will be upset. So for the first thing, we always get the exotic engram, but this time we're actually going to check the roll. Pretend like we didn't get that. Anyway, gun, servers plus one. Underrated in PvP. I don't know how good this shit is in PvE. Wouldn't use it anyway. Wormhouse Crown. Uh, nothing too special here. If you don't have a good Wormhouse Crown, this isn't that bad. It's definitely better than the one you could buy from collections, but it's not really saying much. Next is Parent Grind Greaves. Uh, this role, in my opinion, is not bad at all, actually. Good strength. Uh, resilience is high. Recovery is pretty good. Discipline's there. Pretty good role, actually. Next is Skull of Dire Ahamkara. Not a great role, considering you don't have super high discipline on there, which I personally like on Warlock. Uh, decent recovery, though. Please, God, don't weasel me. Anyway, uh, next we have the Velt Pecula. Has Encore here in Headstone. Not super great, in my opinion. Farewell, Tunnel Vision Multi-Kill Clip? Ooh, that's actually not a bad roll. It doesn't have, like, fantastic uh, barrels in this slot, but that's not a bad roll. If you don't have a farewell, considering it is rare, I would pick it up. Ooh, Extraordinary Rendition Surplus. Tap the trigger with Fluted Barrel there as well, or Chamber Compensator. Not a super bad roll. It's missing a lot of range, which is why I'm personally not going to pick this up. But that's not that bad, man. That's really not. Fractithis, Quick Draw Thresh, not too terrible. Actually, really nice barrels here with Accurai Small Bore. Uh, this is actually really good here. Now, obviously, you don't want Thresh. You would probably want something like Opening Shot here. But overall, this is actually a pretty nice roll. Not too bad. Far Future, Lead from Gold and Thresh. Uh, dog shit. Uh, Fallen Guillotine, uh, Energy Transfer, Surrounded, Balance Guard, dog shit. Uh, maybe it's Bug, though. Hold on. Heh, nope. Maybe the Shotgun or the Sniper? Heh, nope. All right. Uh, uh, the Stars and Shadow. This one might actually be Bug. It's got a ton of different perks here. Yeah, it's bugged. All right, so we got a Bug, Stars, and Shadow. Uh, the rolls aren't fantastic on it, but, I mean, hey, Bug. Uh, dog shit, dog shit, dog shit. Dog shit, dog shit. Then we have a Snapshot Hawkmoon. Definitely not ideal in my opinion, but also not that bad. It's got really odd stats. But, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, Snapshot is definitely not needed on Hawkmoon, considering how much handling you're going to get because of Paracausals in the Catalyst. But not terrible. I would have preferred Rage Finder. Oh, please. Dead Man's Tail has Killing Wind. It doesn't have High Cal. No. It doesn't have High Cal, man. If this had High Cal, I'd pick it up. But if it doesn't, I'm probably not going to pick it up. Uh, I love Dead Man's Tail. I love Killing Wind. But uh, no High Cal, uh, not for me. Um, but that is it for the Zer PSA. Thank you, all, everybody, for watching. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.